So we have a, a blessing of the animal service every year at South Sydney Uniting Church, usually on the long weekend of October, and uh, people are invited to bring um, their animals that are happy to be brought. You know, I've got to say the Vicar of Dibley TV show kind of is the image that I like to portray to people, you know, a church that's maybe a day of chaos and a bit of something different, yeah. So the service that we have is also a commemoration service for Saints Francis and Clare of Assisi. So the prayers in the service um, are made up of um, prayers by or attributed to Francis and Clare um, and songs with a, an ecological theme. Scripture readings, a reflection, and then we conclude with the blessing of the animals. We um, set up the collection for a local animal welfare organisation and the first year we did it for Monica's Doggy Rescue, which is a, a dog shelter, and then the second year we did it for WISE, which is a wildlife rescue organisation, and then we alternated years between those two organisations. A lot of dogs, lizards, some mice, a snake, pictures of other animals, pictures of cats, and I think we had some fish once. Um, sometimes the people who come um, to those services are people who might not usually come to church, you know, people who maybe have got just such a special relationship with their animals that, that it's the one day they sort of like the idea of blessing their animals. We come to the blessing of the animals in support of the idea really that animals are part of creation and not a lesser creature. I did it together with um, our minister um, Andrew and we just went around to people's animals one by one um, and said some words together, um, Andrew and I. Um, Andrew had just a small little script about, about blessing the animal and, and you know, for God's love to be um, shown to this animal. Companion animals are very important in people's lives in the neighbourhood and then the the joy in, in those relationships is a good starting point um, for reflection more broadly on, on ecological um, sustainability and, and care for, for animals and for, um, um, for, for the creation. I, my, my spirituality um, you know, goes beyond humanity to the whole of creation and, and you know, for me um, you know, all animals and the whole of creation is, is just as sacred. So, so having a special day where we, where we celebrate that is, is something special for me personally. Yeah. That yeah. the world exists for animals and fish and insects as well as people. Bobby, on any other day, does not want to get up. And <laughs> it's a real battle to try and get him to go down to the toilet even. He's up and he keeps going to the door and making these loud noises and then rushing in to see what you're doing and rushing back to the door so um which is really quite remarkable for bobby if you knew him <laughs> so and he does do that on a sunday so we know that he wants to be included because it's something that we enjoy and it's mm. an important part of our life and yeah. we share most of you know yeah. our life with with the dogs so yeah we do yeah. i think that it's a benefit to them to share in this aspect not to be excluded there was a a particular dog called spud who after coming to the service for the first time um, whenever he came past the church with his owner, evidently would tug at the leash and, um, and want to come back into the church again. And it was a really nice thing to be able to say to, to Spud that he is welcome to come into the church anytime and to say to Spud's owner that it wasn't just one day a year that we welcomed animals. It's a way to maybe reach out to other people in your community, um, people who, who do have a strong relationship with animals. Um, not just for us, but for many people, their animal, particularly their little dog or cat, is a very important part of their life. And that, to recognise that pets do play a really important part in our society, um, whether it be someone's sole companion um, or 
um, guide dogs. I think there's many um, reasons mm -hmm. to companion. Yeah, helper dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm a story like the story of Francis and Claire can can deepen what's what's going on. So yeah. it's important that the blessing of the animals is not a, a token gesture, um, but that it really asks questions of us about how we care for animals and whether it, whether it is a safe place, not just in the church, but in the neighbourhood and in the world, safe place for animals. <laughs> yeah, you agree? I know, you're a good boy. And you'll put Augie on the bottom of the screen as well, aren't you? Yeah, sure. No, no, put him back in. Oh, okay. 